Hi, my name is Jim Hobson. I'm a freelance musician here in Vancouver, BC, and I'm really excited to tell you about uh, a new uh, album project. Rocky Mountain Alporn's Generations, a definitive collection of modern Swiss Alporn music. The Alporn is an ancient instrument uh, with a history going about 2,000 years back uh, from the Swiss Alps. It's made of wood, no valves, no keys. Pitches are produced just with the lips in the air. Dad picked up the instrument about 30 years ago, and historically, oftentimes the physical instrument would have been passed down from shepherd father to shepherd son, as would the knowledge of how to play it. And I feel like I'm, I'm sort of following in his footsteps now. I'm Bill Hobson. I am Jim's father. I am from Calgary. I am a French horn player in the Calgary Philharmonic. I just uh, finished my 40th year in the Calgary Philharmonic, but I've been playing uh, Alporn for about that long, and I also make Alporns. In fact, the uh, the Alporns that we're playing on this uh, on this album are all made by myself in my workshop in Calgary. I've made uh, 156 Alporns. What I'm most known for in Switzerland is as a very traditional player in the high mountain alpine style of Swiss Alporn playing, the very ancient uh, traditions of playing. The, the high mountain way of playing is very expressive. It's, it's, it's very free, unfettered. The, the only rule is that there's no rules, except I guess making the music interesting and making the music beautiful. So we tried to use the Alporn in all kinds of different configurations on this album. Uh, there's lots of solo pieces, there's a few duets, some quartet pieces, there's even a, a piece that I overdubbed 16 different Alporn parts. We've used the Alporn as the lead instrument in a blues band, the lead instrument in a polka with a low brass quartet. We recorded a tune on the album called uh, Pastoral Improvisation and it is an improvised piece. There's also a wonderful composition by the great Swiss composer Hans-Jörg Sommer, Maud's Roof, which was kind of a groundbreaking composition for modern Alporn. The pieces that I wrote are very much in the traditional style, um, the high alpine mountain style. Um, very, very expressive, a lot of rubato, sudden tempo changes, great um, variance and dynamics and that sort of thing. It's just, it's just over the top, I think, uh, romantic, expressive. That's, that's the style there. You were, uh, you were a shepherd, you had no wristwatch, you had no, nothing to, to gauge the day, you had nothing really to do except play your Alporn, and it's, it's, it's what they did, and, and they, they found great freedom, solace, and, uh, and a way to pass the time with the Alporn. We were lucky enough uh, for this project to work with a, a fantastic engineer, uh, ben Henriquez, a uh, great friend, great musician, and also to have access to a, a beautiful um, acoustic space in St. Andrew's Wesley Church to record. The acoustic properties of the space, because it was so reverberant, because it had so many different nooks and crannies, we were actually able to position mics in, in a lot of different places to get uh, echo effects happening, to play around with the acoustic space. That's a big part of the album, is not just the playing, but um, the architecture and the acoustics of the room. I think when people listen to it, they'll, they'll feel the breeze from the Alps and uh, see the topography, the beautiful postcard views every time you turn a corner. That's, that's in the music as well. And uh, I, I hope that you can hear all that. Rocky Mountain Alporn's Generations, available summer 2018 through CD Baby, iTunes, Amazon, and at the links in the description below.